Good morning. Good Monday morning. I'm late for my own gig. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, I'm having some te technical difficulties this morning, but God is so faithful. Isn't he faithful? Yes, he is faithful. And nothing but his blood covers us in everything, every endeavor. <laughs> What can wash away our sins? My sin. Spirit, be with us. We're honestly, diligently seeking you. That's what this room is all about. Precious love he has to offer. I'm so glad you came in this morning. You're going to find out all about love. the King of Kings, the name above all names. Thank you, Lord, for your presence here this morning. We love you. We adore you. We worship you. We exalt you. We lift your name on high. Thank you so much for gifting us, Lord, with eternal life, with life everlasting. We have access to eternity just by believing that God sent his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ. Not only that, but he left a deposit for us of the Holy Spirit. There's something that I'm just beginning to grasp, and that is that he desires, he desires health and wholeness for you and for me. And um, I've been 
I've been dealing with a physical attack this morning. Remember, we've talked about this day after day. We're in a spiritual battle. It's between good and evil. God is the good guy and Satan is the bad guy. Well, we're fighting not in flesh and blood. Of course, we're fighting in the spiritual realm. And so while we're, fi we're fighting in the spiritual realm, realm, we're literally warring there. Um, I've come under attack in the spiritual and I've got a, um, I've got a, like a, um, my immune system is attacking itself. I, I have a bout, I'm having a bout with this unsolved, mysterious illness that I came down with in 2016. So I'm having a, um, how do you say, I'm having an attack this morning anyway. So, but I'm, I'm getting a, a revelation. I'm getting a better understanding that it's, it's a battle in the spiritual and that um, I need to fight for my right for health and wholeness. And um, anyway, so I'm going to take it to the high courts in heaven and I'm just learning about that. So it's something I'll be able to bring you, bring to you later on. Good morning, all of you. Carmine's here and Jay, David. Good morning. It's good to have you here this morning. I would imagine that Steve, the Hillstein, <laughs> just kidding. I called him Steve Hillstein when I first met him a bunch of times, but it's Steve Hillstein and welcome. It's great to have you guys here this morning and what a better way to start the day, right? Than praying, declaring God's promises over you and reading his word. It's, it's washing you in the water of his word. Uh, since we're in a spiritual battle, it's really important to know the word of God, which is sharper than any two double-edged sword. It's important because it is going to be your, your weapon for the future, your shield of protection for the future. Let's go ahead and pray up this morning. Lord, thank you for placing around us the blood of the Lamb, shield of protection to guard our heart, soul, body, minds, and our spirits. And let nothing but your love penetrate that blood of the Lamb, shield of protection in the name of Jesus Christ. Place on us the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt buckle of truth, shot our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace of Jesus Christ. Place in our hand the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, sharper than any two double-edged sword. Place in our other hand the shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Lead us not into temptation, uh, but deliver us from the evil one, for thine is thy power. Yours is the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. There's nothing that I love more than to be present with him. <laughs> I started out this message thinking, oh, I'm going to reach so many people. I'm going to, I'm going to bless people. I'm going to reach them with the gospel. And amen, that's been true. I've definitely been able to uh, share the gospel and share my heart, but the Lord's changed me from the inside out. And wow. He is doing an amazing work in my own heart and <laughs> he has saved me from myself a few times just by knowing his word and being assured in the promises in, in that he has for me. I have been able to resist temptation. So many times temptation has come my way and I've been able to say, nah, it doesn't look good. It's not good enough. For me, I need to be in the presence, in the glory of the Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for the anointing that is on me, the of oil, the oil of gladness, the oil of joy that has filled me and has stayed with me for months now. I started this message in June. So June, July, August, September. This is the fourth month, going into the fifth month of... Um, doing my daily devotional with you, bringing it, bringing it to live. Okay. Happy to do it. I'm happy, happy, happy. 
we're going to Psalm 91, right? Because we're going to declare God's promise over you, his protection over you and your family and me and my family. So Psalm 91. Okay, uh, before the year's end, we will have this memorized and we'll be able to, to um, say Psalm 91 without even reading the word. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler you shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day. By night, <laughs> nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Father, thank you so much for helping us with the power of your Holy Spirit, that you lead me and guide me and direct me, Father God, when I lose my place, that you will direct me right back to you on the path of Psalm 91. Jim Hines is in the house this morning. Good morning, Jim. It's great to have you here. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you, da lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent, you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Steve James, good morning. Welcome. It's good to have you here this morning with us in our prayer room. Today is the 28th of September. Hard to believe that we're going already into the month of October. It's so surprising. But uh, let's embrace this day for this is a day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And we will read from Proverbs 28, your daily devotional for the 28th of September. The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Rawr! Because of the transgression of a land, many are its princes, but by a man of understanding and knowledge, right will be prolonged. A poor man who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain which leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all. And that's what we're doing here this morning. We are seeking the Lord. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways, though he be rich. It's, I was thinking that the other day. What is integrity? <laughs> I lost some there. What is integrity? It's kind of like what you do when no one else is watching, but lo, he is with you always. The Lord searches your heart and he knows every single hair on your head. He knows, he knows when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. Amen. He knows everything about you. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity 
been one perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoever keeps the law is discerning, a discerning son, but a companion of gluttons shames his father. One who increases whoops, his possessions by usury and extortion gathers it for him who will pity the poor. One who increases, sorry, one who turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer is an abomination. Whoever causes the upright to go astray in an evil way, he himself will fall into his own pit, but the blameless will inherit good. Good morning. Dawn is in the house this morning. My friend Dawn. Did you hear that one? The rich man is wise in his own eyes, but the poor who has understanding searches him out. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten. I love this one. Whoever causes the upright to go astray in an evil way, he himself will fall into his own pit, but the blameless will inherit the good. It reminds me of that movie we watched. When the righteous rejoice, there is great glory, but when the wicked arise, men hide themselves. He who covers his sin will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Thank you, Lord, that we have the, the right and we have the ability to come to you this morning to confess our sins, Lord. And as we confess our sins, you make us whole again. Thank you for mercy. Happy is the man who is always reverent, but he who hardens his heart will fall into calamity. Like a roaring lion and a charging bear is a wicked ruler over people, over poor people. A ruler who lacks understanding is a great oppressor, but he who hates covetousness will prolong his days. A man burdened with bloodshed will flee into a pit, let no one help him. Whoever walks blamelessly will be saved, but he who is perverse in his ways will suddenly fall. He who tills his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows frivolity will have poverty enough. A faithful man will abound with blessings, but he who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, because for a piece of bread a man will transgress. A man with an evil eye hastens after riches and does not consider that poverty will come upon him. He who rebukes a man will find more favor afterward than he who flatters with the tongue. Whoever robs his father or his mother and says it is no transgression, the same is companion to a destroyer. He who is of a proud heart stirs up strife, but he who trusts in the Lord will be prospered. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but whoever walks wisely will be delivered. He who gives to the poor will not lack, but he who hides his eyes will have many curses. When the wicked arise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. Father, we do come before you with in awe of you. We stand in awe of you in your presence, Father. Thank you, Lord, for clearing my mind this morning and helping me to, not only helping me to think clearly, Father, but help me, thank you for helping me enter into your presence. There's nothing that we want more, Lord, than to be in your presence this morning, to come boldly before you and thank in a thankful heart, <laughs> with a thankful heart and a grateful heart. Thank you that everything we have, you have given to us. Thank you, Lord, for our health. Thank you for our wellness. Thank you for our prosperity. Thank you, Lord, for how you are prospering our nation today. Thank you, Lord, for how the remnant, the church of Jesus Christ, is rising up among the roaring uh, <laughs> serpent. Actually, I don't know if the serpent roars, but the serpent it has risen its head. But guess what? The remnant church is like a roaring lion. Rawr! And we are rising up and we are understanding our, our role, the role that we play in this spiritual battle. And that is to pray against the evil one. Yeah, to war in the spirit. For 
we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities of the rulers of darkness. And Father God, thank you so much that we can war in the spirit through your power, through your grace. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, Lord, and we we desire nothing more than to be in your presence today. Father God, bless us as we go. Bless our families. Protection over each and every one of us. Thank you for clearing our minds this morning. Thank you that we can take a deep breath in and breathe in a breath of you and exhale the anxiety and the troubles of today and breathe in once again the goodness of you, oh God. You are so good. Bless your Monday. Greater things are to come, guys. Greater things are to come. An even greater message for tomorrow. And there's a big announcement coming this week. Not sure what day it could be tomorrow. There's going to be a great event happening in San Luis Obispo County. And praise the Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord, for leading us. Yes, Lord. Okay. God bless you. Have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow.